Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hasham Ali Khan. This is the last and final video on unit number one, journal, ledger and trial balance. In this video, I'm going to explain you eighth problem. Ninth problem, I'm giving you as your practice problem because already all the problems we have done, only one problem, ninth problem, I'm giving you as practice. Whereas 10th and 11th problem already we have done in the first video, right? So before starting the 8th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which are given in the link under my description. Take the screenshot of the answer of this 8th problem, then I'll explain everything in detail. Now, see the 8th problem. <clears throat> Prepare journal and post them into ledger. So few transactions are given 2019 January 1st transaction amount. So first of all, we have to pass the journal entries and secondly, we have to post them into ledger account. So first of all, journal entries, date particulars, LF debit credit. Now first, January 1st, James started business with cash 5,000, furniture 2,000, machinery 3,000, loan taken from his uncle 5000 so these are the assets and liability with the help of these assets and liability he has started the business so here cash account data 5000 cash he is bringing in 5000 furniture 2000 machinery 3000 and loan from uncle 5000 so to capital 5000 balancing figure balancing figure 5000 capital being the business commenced second Goods purchased from Sundam and company 1000. Goods were purchased on credit. Entry will be purchases account data to Sundam 1000. Being goods purchased on credit. Fourth, sold goods to Rama Rao. So it's a credit sale. Rama Rao account data to sales. Being the goods sold on credit. Last 31st, Rama Rao became insolvent. Insolvent, it means a person who cannot be able to pay all the liabilities. When a person's liabilities are more than assets, the person will become insolvent. Here, the business has sold goods to Ramarao. How much worth of goods were sold? 5,000. Out of 5,000, only 5% 5 is recovered. Ramarao became insolvent and hence received only 5% of debt and his, from his property. Remaining amount is taken as bad debts. So out of 5,000, only 5% 5 is recovered. The 5,000 into 5% 5 is 250. The out of 5,000, only 250 rupees cash is received. Remaining 4,750 are bad debts or irrecoverable debts. The entry will be cash account data 250, bad debts account data 4,750 to Rama of 5,000. When we sell the goods, Ramarao account was debited. Now when we receive the cash from Ramarao, Ramarao's account is created. So Ramarao's account is closed. But instead of 5000, we received only 250 rupees. 5% is received. Remaining 95% is bad debts. So bad debt is loss. Bad debts account data 4750. That's all. These are the entries. Now we are required to post the entries into the ledger accounts. So here, first cash account. Cash account is debited, furniture account debited, machinery account debited, right? To this, you write out uh, cash account debit side to capital. How much cash? 5,000. Then furniture debit side to capital. How much? 2,000. Then machinery debit side to capital. How much machinery? 3000. Then loan from uncle is credited. So loan from uncle is credited by cash. How much? 5000. Right? Now, uh, we have posted this entry. All account debited here. 5000, 2000, 3000 debited and 5000. Capital account is to be created. Capital account is here. Now we have to credit the capital account. Capital account by furniture by machinery. By furniture 
and by machinery 2000 and 3000 so total will become 5000 or first entry posted second purchase account data to sundaram so purchase account debit side to sundaram purchase account debit side 1000 the date is third and the sundaram's account should be created by purchases date is third so how much is the amount 1000 so third transaction posted now fourth ramarao account data to sales ramarao account debit side to sales how much 5000 sales account is credited by ramarao 5000 this is on fourth fourth rate next last 31st date cash account debit to ramarao 250 this is 31st this is first ha huh. bad debt account debit bad debt account debit side to ramarao how much bad debts 4750 31st so bad debt account debited now ramarao account should be created Ramarao account created by cash 250 and by bad debts 4750 that's all all the entries are posted now simply we have to find out the balancing figure so here no payments are there only receipts so 5250 here also 5250 5250 by balance carried down 31st then to balance brought down 5250 next month 2019 feb 1st now here furniture only debit side we have 2000 here also 2000 by balance carried down 2000 here to balance brought down 2000 or now this is on the next date that is February 1st here also same thing machinery 3000 same 3000 you take it on the credit side 3000 by balance carried down this is 31st to balance brought down 3000 this is Feb 1st or now loan from uncle 5000 here also 5000 to balance carried down 5000 by balance brought down 5000 last purchases only debit side we are given 1000 here also 1000 by balance carried down here to balance brought down 1000 this is february 1st that's all now here sundaram account only credit side 1000 is given so 1000 here 1000 you take to balance carried down by balance brought down 1000 February 1st now here this bad debt account is uh, sorry Ramaro's account is closed debit side 5000 and credit side also 5000 no balance at all no sales credit side 5000 nothing on debit side so same 5000 I am taking here to balance carried down by balance brought down 5000 February 1st similarly bad debts bad debts we are given only on the debit side so I am taking here 4750 here also 4750 by balance carried down 4750 to balance brought down 4750 this is February 1st last one capital 5000 here also 5000 5000 to balance 
carried down and here by balance brought down 5000 this is february 1st this is january 31st that's all so we have completed the uh, general entries as well as ledger accounts so this is the end of the unit number one the heading for this unit number one is introduction to financial accounting where we have done the problems on journal ledger and track balance so so many videos i have uploaded for this subject uh, accounting for management all the five units I have completed particularly for mba students so hope you are satisfied with my lecture i have explained according to the, my best of ability so if you are satisfied give a like to this video share my channel among your friends among your group so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge give your comments subscribe my channel if you have not yet subscribed and by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we will continue the next topic in the next video